What you will see is the red and blue mass transit buses carrying passengers on their special lanes to and from the inner city to the outskirts of Lagos. The new uniform traffic management officers directing what was once impatient and haphazard traffic on newly constructed roads and traffic cameras installed on major streets. And more noticeably, the absence of the street boys who terrorized car owners as they waited like sitting ducks in the traffic. Without a doubt, Lagos traffic management has taken a turn for the better in the past years after major changes have been implemented on the city's roads. And certainly Lagos residents are not complaining. Well, as regards the traffic situation in Lagos, there has been a marked improvement in the sense that uh, the road network is better. Like, uh, take for example on this very road in which uh, you are, the interview is being conducted now, before before the road was actually reconstructed, you had uh, commercial buses uh, climbing the culverts in order to kind of get a, get a right of way, if I may use that term. And in the course of doing that, they even worsened the traffic situation. But as a result of the culverts that are well laid out, the roads that are, are wet, hard, they are smooth, you find that there is free flow of traffic right now. Even uh, during the rush hour, when, when uh, most people close at work, you discover that the tra traffic flows more than when it uh, than before. So the traffic situation has really improved in Lagos. And uh, with uh, uh, this construction or maintenance work that is regu regularly carried out on Lagos Road, you see that the traffic situation would improve even the more. It's um, compared to like five years ago, it's really improved because we now have BRT lanes that make things very easy for transporters and you know you can get to work quickly now you can at least with the BRT really I can say it's really improved. Transport fare in Lagos has really changed anyway and uh, these are the new buses they brought BRT buses some prices some of them the prices are low which is good for Lagosians. I like um, the changes in the road system are very very nice like the BRT very free, it's not, more, it's not free but affordable, like I'm fast, very very fast. Uh, what I just said is that the BRT is okay, but there are some places that BRT does not go to. As in, our governor really tried for what he has done, but as in it should bring more, um, more BRT out so that it can reach some places that we are supposed to change. You know. As a Lagosian, this change of the transport is very good because Sometimes the traffic, you know, you say you want to enter the normal bus here, you can't go to where you are going, but BRT is just like 10 minutes, whatever you are going, you go there by 10 minutes. Like now, I'm coming from Maryland right now. I just took, it didn't even take me six minutes to, to be here in Suleri, so it's the best that's ever happened to Lagos State. So I don't, I, I feel if we can have the smaller size of this on the, in the normal transport system, it will be okay for us. Actually, the government has done a lot of things, better things in our lives in terms of the social amenities. Before when we take buses down to Lagos Island, we are always trapped on the traffic. But now we take BRT down to island, no old job, we move down straight forward, no things, no lapping, you know, the things are just good, I love it. I think the traffic uh, at the Korodu Road is a little bit fair. But uh, when going back, after closing hour, it's always very, very empty. But with, with BRT, I think we really achieve. If you can see me now, I'm always with my full ticket because at times on Monday morning, if you see people struggling to get tickets, you know, it's nothing to write home about. But I think Lagos State, they really try about the traffic. With this uh, issue of mega city and the way this. Uh, uh, traffic thing is being conducted the way the roads are being repaired. One could see Lagos in the next, I, I mean, in a couple of years, competing with the so called Western words. Taking a peek behind the scenes, the special advisor on transport says that there are many other projects in the works that are responsible for the positive changes seen on Lagos roads today. The, the major projects are one the, the driving institute. We launched the Driving Institute, which is aimed at um, improving the quality of drivers in the public um, a, a, a sector, that is the public transportation sector, especially for commercial drivers and the corporate 
drivers, but those who use driving as a profession. And the intention here is to create a good um, road use culture. And we also launched and uh, brought into four exactly a year ago the School Traffic Safety Advocacy Program for young children. And uh, this we did with the intention of, now with the Driving Institute, you change the culture of already molded drivers. Now with the School Traffic um, Advocacy Program, what we did is to take driver transport education to people where it matters most and to use these same people as the agent of change in public attitude. And then the third one is to extensively do aggressive training on the personnel of last man, to train them on incident management, how to react to the public, that is public attitude, customer service relations, and we also did a lot of uh, um, training for them using the modern technique in intelligent transportation and traffic management uh, system. We also extensively created and uh, implemented the traffic impact assessment department within LASMA. So what LASMA is doing now is collecting data on the road use survey, traffic count, traffic data at various uh, um, intersections so that we can use this to predict the next two, three years and determine which junctions we needed to put our ITS system like the traffic lighting system. Additionally, we have to do a lot of um, traffic signages on the road. Either though before the last three years, we don't really have that much but now we've introduced uh, at least about uh, 8,000 traffic signages and in the next one more, we're introducing an additional 3,000. This past week, the state government held its first traffic management conference with the theme, Unlocking the Gridlock, Keeping Lagos Moving with Pride inviting foreign experts from megacities in developed countries to share best practices. Delegates explored issues in the sector such as how to plan transport systems in a megacity, road safety, public transport, and how to control and enforce traffic rules in the city. We brought the old, the first rulers of um, administrators in Lagos, we brought the current people and we brought the young children. We brought in experts and the intention, the objective was to critically appraise where we are. Are we where we are supposed to be? And where we are, are we being rightly projected? And where we are, can we do better? And if we need to do better, what do we need to do differently? We now decided to reappraise. We brought in experts from all walks of life, bringing the issue of best practices. We share expertise. Then we did a critical appraisal of our traffic management uh, styles and people came up with ideas, then we appraised where we are in the area of intelligent transportation and intelligent traffic management systems. And the outcome of that conference is this. Um, we now have uh, a better motivated traffic management force. We also came out of the conference realizing the need to move more into intelligent traffic management systems. We also saw at the conference that there are so many stakeholders who have a lot of products that, could, that would be of valuable access to us. They came to the conference, they experienced, and then we also learn from the way it is being done in better managed traffic management. And we also learned another thing, that with pros prosperity comes congestion. But Lagosians are still waiting to see more changes that would ease the stress of moving around the city, such as the implementation of the promised light rail project. What I can say is that we have started the design for the blue line is completed. The construction of the roadway has started and as soon as uh, possible, I don't know exactly when the construction of the um, rail track will start because we have to get the roadway onto some point. I'm, I can tell you authoritatively the road construction has started and the, and the contractor for the um, rail infrastructure too is mobilized. So, so it has it, it started, it's ongoing and it's a precision engineering staff. It's when everything is concluded and they test it engineering-wise that it will move. And the issue of power will be bringing in an independent uh, power project to power it. And I can say this to Lagosians, uh, seriously speaking, the government is determined. And uh, within the next two, three years, which is the actual time for a real project to actually kick off, that project will kick off. Obviously, the stress of moving around the city has gone down several notches today and Lagos residents can enjoy heavier pockets as they spend less on transport. But they are waiting with fingers crossed to see whether the state government will deliver on their promises to make transport even better and whether these changes will last.